Welcome. In this video, I would like to show you a really cool trick in the use of Evernote with its complementary application, Scannable, that allows me to scan images of a single page or multi page documents, save the images into a single PDF file, and have the PDF file automatically transmitted to my Evernote account and stored in the notebook of my choosing. Let's get started. Here I've loaded the Scannable app on my iPhone and I'm going to use it to scan a number of pages in a document that I've printed from Wikipedia. As I hold my iPhone over each page, you can see on the screen that the Scannable app automatically detects the edges of the, each page and automatically focuses. When it has a good focus and it can determine the edge of each piece of paper, the paper is marked in blue and an image is acquired of that page. Now it's important here that the paper and the background have sufficient contrast because that's how the scannable app is detecting the edge of each piece of paper. So I'm working here on a brown work table which gives me sufficient contrast, I find that I can usually scan documents that are on, even on the kitchen counter. Um, I don't know that this would work on a white counter, but it should work on um, any, anything other than a, a real white, very bright background. So here within the app, there's a blue checkbox. If I click that, it will take the pages of the image that I've scanned, allow me to give it a name, when I click the Done button, I then have the option to either send this PDF file as a email attachment or via uh, Apple Messages or through WhatsApp, or I have the option to save, and I can save this PDF file directly into my Evernote account. Now, next to the name of the file that I created, there's a small icon that says PDF. I can change that to a picture, it's a landscape image, and that means I would be saving my uh, scan as a JPEG. But because there are multiple pages that I've scanned, it's much better if I save this as a PDF because then I'll retain the independent pages within the PDF document, but still have a single file. So I'm going to click Save to Evernote, put it in my Notes notebook, click Save, and now the file has been sent to my Evernote account, and I am able to access it in Evernote. So let me put my phone to sleep there, and come back to my computer and now if I open up Evernote and show you my screen you'll see that this is a copy of that PDF that I just created and I can move through the multiple pages in this PDF document, 
I can annotate it just as I would any other PDF file. Um, I even have the ability to copy text from it and paste the text into another application. I hope you found these examples interesting and useful. I frequently scan copies of printed documents. In fact, in my for my household, we have very few paper documents. We have the deed to our house, we have the titles to our cars, we have our of course our driver's license and our COVID-19 vaccination cards. But most of the other documents that come into the house are scanned, saved into Evernote, and then the paper copies are shredded. So we've actually significantly simplified our life here in the household. Until we meet again in a future video, I wish you the absolute best in all of your academic work, but particularly in your ability to use Scannable and Evernote to make copies of documents that come across your desk. Bye for now. Mika, you are one super dog. You are a good sport, no matter what we're doing. And I know you like the water, so we brought you here so you could sniff it. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a hot day today. But we brought water for you. We love you so much.